shop. This is Splice the Movie Fan. And originally I was gonna put a text by the beginning of the video saying sorry that a Halloween theme project came out late. I decided that instead of doing that, I would be doing that in speeds instead. So people who listen to this video in the background can know this too. So basically this is a video that was intended as one of my Halloween themed projects. Now since October is over, I could easily just scrap this video, but I decided to go through with the production anyway. Because I was so fucking far into the production of the video and I didn't want all that hard work to go to waste. So yeah, now I am gonna introduce the person that I'm commentating on today. Now normally when I cover a movie review, it's by someone popular, such as Jeremy Jans, Chris Stockman, The Flick Pick, Cody Leeds, Stuff like that. It's rare when I cover someone who is obscure. And this person is very obscure. She barely gets any views on her videos. Now, during Halloween of last year, she made a review of the movie Halloween 4. And I was interested in covering it. So I decided to cover that video for this year's Halloween. Although I didn't, since Halloween is over. But whatever. I decided to cover her video, so there is a lot that I gotta say about it. So, without further ado, let's dive in. This intro is fucking awesome. Yeah, I know that I often play intros in videos just to say that the intro is fucking awesome. The thing is, I think pointing out good aspects of videos is as important as critiquing a video. Actually, I've had that mindset since I started commentaries in 2010. Even if it's something as big as saying this is fucking awesome. Re-review, you say? Well, I haven't seen your original review of this movie that you have made or any of the movies that you're doing a re-review of this year. So I can't really compare. So for this specific video, I will be judging this review on its own merits. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Alan's Horror World. My name is Alan. Of course, you guys already know that. I mean, if someone is a newcomer to your channel, they wouldn't know. I don't like the assumption that everyone watching is a regular viewer. You should always make videos keeping in mind that newcomers could stumble across your channel. I will admit, I did the mistake too in assuming that everyone who watches my videos is a regular viewer. So, it's an understandable mistake. So, if you're wondering where I've been for the past couple of weeks, school has been distracting me from doing YouTube lately, but I am on fall break, so I have a little bit of time to do videos now. That's totally fine. Hey, real life priorities come first. But I want to go ahead and welcome everyone to the Autumn Horror Month. A month where I review horror movies more frequently. Even though I review them all the time, this is one where I'll be doing more frequent reviews. So, how is this month any different than other months of the year? I really don't get your logic here. So, you review horror movies all the fucking time, but October is a special case because you review them more frequently that month. How the hell is it more frequently in October if you do it all the fucking time? I really don't get it. What makes October specifically a special case? I mean, you admit that you review them frequently. So, what's the fucking difference? Yeah, I don't get it at all. It is also written by Alan B. McElroy, who went on to write the original Wrong Turn and its reboot. I have not seen those movies yet. Please don't make me. Don't make me watch them and review them because I've heard they're bad. Who the hell is doing that? If you don't want to watch these movies, don't fucking watch them. It's completely up to you. No one but you gets to decide that. It was also going to be directed by John Carpenter, who wanted, like, a ghost story. He wanted to do yet another anthology film, but the company was like, eh, nah. Halloween 3 did poorly at the box office. We cannot do another anthology film, so John Carpenter's like, screw y'all, I'm out, and Deborah Hill was out of it too. Personally, I think it was fucking stupid of the studio to decide to bring Michael Myers back and not do another anthology film. That's what they should have fucking done. Who the hell wants to see Michael Myers again? He's just an evil being. There's not enough material to work with to make him a character for an entire fucking franchise. Which is proven by a lot of the bullshit that's added later on in the Halloween series. But... Hey, we got Michael back at least. That's that's a good thing. That should be a good thing. R right? 
Yeah, it really fucking was, and I know that you're indirectly say that it's a bad idea, and I agree with you, it is. So, Halloween 4 was the first Myers movie I knew about in my life. Um, I saw bits and pieces of this movie on TV when I was a kid. Honestly, you're not alone. I didn't even know about the first Halloween movie from 1978 until I saw it in 2010, something along those lines. I fucking hated it. Back then I thought it was boring, and honestly, I regret it. How fucking dumb I was back then. Yep, I had terrible parents. Don't talk about your parents that way. Let's be honest, who the hell has and watched an edited movie on the rights? Come on, tell me. I'll wait. The answer is fucking no one. We all have watched an edited movies on the rights, and there is nothing wrong with that. After all, the rating is just a suggestion, it's not the law. You don't get in legal trouble or anything if you want. I'm hoping you're not old enough to watch yet. We probably would if it's in theaters, but if you're at home, it's completely legal, it's just a suggestion. So, blame them for that. I'm just kidding, it was my fault. I mean, you can't really blame your past self for that either. You're a fucking kid, and it's normal for kids to do stupid things. You shouldn't fault yourself for what you did back then, because back then you didn't know any better. Literally the only other film that I'd seen bits and pieces of besides this one was the god-awful Rob Zombie remake. We'll get to that soon. Yeah, we can agree, that movie is fucking awful. So yes, Halloween 4 was the first Halloween movie that I'd ever heard about. Hmm, interesting, I hadn't heard about any of them. Back when I was a kid. But then again, back then, I watched the passionate movie film that I am now. So there are a lot of great classic movies I hadn't heard of at the time. I cared far more about Pokemon back then than I cared about movies. Um, I kind of had a bit of a clue of who Michael Myers was as a killer. But like, I didn't really know, know who he was. But now I am a fanatic of this franchise, so I definitely know who Myers is. But there is it much to know, because Michael Myers doesn't have any personality at all. I haven't watched this in a long time, but like, I'm the type of person who remembers literally everything that happens in the movies that I watch. I mean, that's your responsibility as a fucking reviewer. I don't see why that's a special thing to point out. Well, except if I'm not seeing them for like a decade. If I haven't seen them for a decade, I'm not gonna watch, I'm not gonna remember. I mean, it's completely normal. I don't remember movies that I watched. That long ago either. Though for some reason, I can remember YouTube in 2007 like the back of my fucking head. Yeah, weird how it works. But I remember literally everything about this movie. Trust me. I'm telling you the truth. I mean, is there any reason to doubt what you said here? You didn't make an unbelievable claim or anything like that. So, what exactly is the point of stating that you're telling the truth? Fucking obviously you are. There's no reason to doubt that. But... There are mixed reactions to this movie. Some people say it's one of the worst films, but like it's not like it's not that bad. And I've heard people say it's okay, it's just meh. But I've heard hardcore fans say that it is an amazing Halloween movie. That's strange. I've heard mostly positive things per se about this movie. But then again, I haven't watched that many movie reviews over, so what the hell do I know, right? I don't particularly say it's an amazing Halloween movie, but it's great. I mean, is there much of a difference? I mean, I know that great and amazing are not the same thing, but people usually use the word great to describe movies that they love. So saying it's not an amazing movie, but it's great, doesn't make much sense to me. First up, gotta talk about Donald Pleasance. Donald Pleasance is a, it's great as always. Um, Sam Loomis is one of my favorite characters, not to be confused with Psycho, but Dr. Loomis is one of my favorite characters ever. I mean, you're clearly reviewing Halloween 4. Why the hell would anybody make that confusion? And I agree, he's fucking awesome. And Loomis is awesome in this movie. Not as interesting as he was in the first two movies, but Donald Pleasance played him to a point where I was still interested enough in his character, and he did it in a great way. He's a little crazier in this one. I still do not know how he survived that explosion in Halloween 2. Can someone please explain, explain? How is he alive? How is he still alive? Michael, I understand. Loomis, I will never understand. Apparently, he, he, apparently he didn't die. He just got a little bit crispy. He got a little bit crispy. He has a few little burns on his face and his hands. And I'm like, an explosion like this? 
is really gonna like not kill you. It's just gonna leave you just a tiny bit crispy. No, you would be incinerated instantly. I agree, that's fucking stupid. But we're just gonna ignore that. Why though? That is a legit problem to bring up. Donald Pleasance is great in this movie. Um, he's my favorite part about the movie because it's Donald Pleasance. Rest in peace, good sir. Yeah, he was great as Dr. Lubbers for sure. No one can ever replace that performance. May he rest in peace indeed. Unfortunately, in the next movie, I really wouldn't like him that much. We'll get to Halloween 5 soon enough. This gives me an idea. If you guys would like to see me respond to a review of that movie next year, I would be willing to do it. And Ellie Cornell did a great job as Rachel. Rachel is one of my favorite final girls ever. So, yeah, unfortunately, Halloween 5 would ruin this. <laughs> it's gonna come back to Halloween 5 every single time. I don't really blame you. I personally like that movie, but I can't see why it frustrates you so much. Screw you, Halloween 5. <laughs> um, what are you laughing at exactly? I don't get it. But this was around the time when slashers were starting to die down and not be as good. But we did have a few good slasher sequels that came out in 1988. Friday 13th Part 7, Sleepaway Camp 2. Hold on. So you say that slashers were about to die out, but then list some good ones. That's not how it fucking works. Dying down means that there's gonna be less of it. And there were a shit ton of slasher moves back then and there are still now. The fact that they are mostly bad doesn't mean that they are dying out. I'm not even sure what you're talking about here. I would say Nightmare 4, but I am not a fan of the Dream Master. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that movie. But I know a lot of you guys love Nightmare 4, so I will go ahead and say Nightmare 4 just for y'all because I am nice, okay? I'm nice to y'all. You're welcome. I mean, fair, but if it's not a movie that you're personally a big fan of, you should really list it as one of the good ones. Since you're supposed to list the good ones in your period. I mean, it's your video after all. But this was probably the best of the bunch. I loved Halloween Forward to Pieces, okay? So do I. And the kills in this movie are among the best of all of them in the in the films that I'm mentioning. Okay, I cannot speak. I cannot speak English today, clearly. <laughs> I just... You didn't think this video through before making it, did you? Yeah, you buy what I do that before you start recording with the camera. Just a suggestion. Oh my god, I was reading the plot synopsis for this movie and I messed up like five to six times. Oh, so you did plan out what you were going to say. Honestly, don't feel too bad about this. Screw-ups like these can happen to anyone. I'm actually a fan of how Alan Howarth. He has made a very good score for literally all these movies. So I have to give props to him because he really did try even if the quality of these movies started to go downward after this one. We'll get to those films when we do. Good lord. Which reminds me, if you want me to cover her other reviews next year, feel free to let me know. Final positive, we'll bring up the ending again, although I still won't spoil it. The ending of the movie is one of the most haunting endings in horror. Yeah, surprisingly there are no spoilers in this review. For some reason we managed to make a review that's around 60 minutes long without spoiling anything. Well done, I'm proud of you. Um, I really wish Halloween 5 didn't ruin it. But it is still a great ending. Or you could just ignore Halloween 5, that's always an option. I'm gonna just keep this short and sweet. Alright, fair enough. This is a great ending. Yes, it is. Halloween 5 just butchered it because the director did not give a crap about his audience. Maybe he did it, but I sure shall enjoy it. Way to go, guys! Wow, you really hate that ending, don't you? I'm just gonna be crapping on Halloween 5 the whole time, aren't I? That's literally 95% of this review is Halloween 5 just ruined Halloween 4. I don't exactly blame you. If something is annoying you, avoid the talk about the still you're unavoidable. Hell, I've been on that route many times before. I'm not saying Halloween 5 sucks. It it really doesn't, but like it just it still ruined this movie. It just ruined it. At least you like it, I'll give you that. I thought all this time that you hated that movie. Good to know I was wrong. I'm just gonna be crapping on that movie the whole time. Again, I don't blame you.
My apologies, guys. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. I only could have cared less. I'm not really sorry. I'm just lying to you. I don't really care if you lie or not in all honesty. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm actually sorry. <sighs> Does that matter to be? Yet again, I have one mixed aspect with this film. Uh, it's not really scary. This movie is not really scary at all. I don't know. An unstoppable force lurking around seems scary to be. I don't know. This movie just didn't really scare me that much. It, I thought it would, but I guess not. I guess it didn't really like level up to like the original Halloween. Yeah, I think we can both agree it's not our deed as fucking great as that movie is. And now... My one negative. Oh, you only have one negative. That's impressive. I'm gonna bring up Halloween 5 again. Yes, I'm talking to you, Halloween 5. I'm talking to you. I'm gonna bring you up again. Your mask was worse. I'm just saying. The mask of this one sucks, but that's heaven compared to the Halloween 5 mask. I'm crapping on it on Halloween 5 all over again. Again, I understand, Tati. Temptation to talk about it. Stop battling. Stop. Stop talking about Halloween 5. We're not reviewing that movie yet. Okay, but that bit, I found that funny. I have officially lost my mind. Nah, don't worry, you're fine. <sighs> Please help me. No help necessary, you're fine. But the mask in this movie isn't really good. It's terrible, but like, it's not atrocious. It's not an atrocious mask. I just don't like it. I don't like it. I didn't really care but about how the mask looked like. But hey, that's just me. So overall, Halloween 4 The Return of Michael Myers is actually a very good installment and a still great franchise for now. It's... this is a really good sequel, surprisingly. We're on the fourth film and we're still in great territory. Yeah, it's very rare when that happens. But this will be one of the last great installments of the franchise and then the freaking franchise will go meow. Yeah, I can agree. The series went downhill from there. Although like Halloween 5, I think many of the Halloween movies after that are very bad movies. And the kills are very gruesome, although they are considered pretty tame today. I don't know about that. There were many movies released around that time were far more brutal when it came to gore. Uh, a lot of that, all that stuff makes up for the fact that the movie isn't really scary. That's fair. I highly recommend you see Halloween 4 if you have not seen it. Oh yeah! I did, in preparation for this video, and it's still great. Yet, yeah, or if you are marathoning it on Halloween night, pop in Halloween 4 after Halloween 3. Yes, you need to watch Halloween 3. But of course you do. It's a fucking after movie and my favorite Halloween movie besides the original. But if you want to keep continuity right, watch 1 and 2, then skip 3 and watch Halloween 4. Actually, I would argue that it does count as part of the continuity. I mean, sure. The focus of the characters is different. There's no Dr. Loomis or Michael Myers in that movie. But I still believe that movie takes place in the same universe as the rest of them. Just watch Halloween 3 on your own time. Or you could just watch it with the others. That's also an option. I'm gonna give Halloween 4 The Return of Michael Myers an A-. minus. Well, that score is well learned. So what do you guys think of Halloween 4 The Return of Michael Myers? It's a great movie. Let me know in the comments. Buy a comment when responding to a video is a much better option. Do you love this movie? Because there are a lot of people who do. Yup. Do you think it's meh? It's it's alright. Or do you downright hate this movie? Even though I haven't really seen anyone who really hate this one. There's not really a lot of people there, to be honest, but... Oh, good to be surprised. Due to the overly negativity of the internet, finding people to hate a movie, any movie is fucking easy. In fact, it's far easier to find negative reviews on the internet than it is to find positive ones. It's sad that I wish it was the other way around. Eh, there are some people out there. Much more than you think. Not this movie in particular, but any movie in general. Again, it's sad. So guys, be looking forward to my review of Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers, coming out in a couple days. I know I said this before, but it's worth mentioning again. If you guys are interested, I might cover that review next year. And don't tell me I'm not doing the Saw films again. Don't make me do that. Don't make me re-review them. Please, please don't make me do that. Then don't. It's totally up to you. Who the hell could possibly make you do that? No one, this is your channel, you have creative control. So anyways, I'm Adeline, this is Alan's Horror World. You guys already know that, I love all you guys to death. 
You know, I like how you appreciate your own orient. It's worth a lot of respect. Now it's time for our overall thoughts. Honestly, this is a great fucking video. Yeah, I really like it. As for her content as a whole, well, I haven't seen much of it, admittedly. But I did see the other reviews she made to the Halloween series that same year. And all these videos are also very damn good. So yeah, more or less a good review. Thank you for watching your fantastic day.